we've been talking about the Pythagorean theorem and how to find a missing side. We've also looked at the converse of the Pythagorean theorem to help us with triangles that weren't right triangles. But we're going to concentrate again on right triangles and use this theorem to help us figure distances, basically distances along the hypotenuse. So let's take a look here at review a little bit. We have a triangle, which this is a right triangle. We know by the theorem of Pythagoras that we talk about that the side of a triangle represents a square, and there's another square. And when we add both those squares together, they're going to end up to fill the hypotenuse square. Well, when we the problem is, is if we put the way this is on a coordinate plane, these two leg squares will line up with the coordinate plane. See, the hypotenuse one won't because it's off to an angle. So that's where it causes a little bit of a dilemma. So when we look here at this, we can see that this side has a measurement because it runs along the side of the triangle right on top of the coordinate plane. It's one, two, three, four units. So we can measure that because it, because it actually takes up four squares. We can do the same thing with the height, where it measures 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that measures 5 squares. So we can do that part. But when it comes to the hypotenuse, the hypotenuse will be cutting through the middle of squares. So we won't be able to do that. But we can use the Pythagorean theorem, where a squared plus b squared equals c squared, because we know what this is. And we can find the c by using the Pythagorean theorem. So let's take a look at a couple of points here. Um, I have a point here at 1, 3, and then I have another point at 4, 6. Now, when the points are connected in the line, though, we can connect these points as they are now and show a right triangle. So I'm going to draw a right triangle here. Sorry, guys, wish I could draw a better one. OK, so there's my right triangle. Try it again. <laughs> 